Hello, it's me, Angelica Collado. This video is going to be on water. Now, I want to make this video to teach others how they can learn to drink water every single day. Um, it's very, very important. Water is very powerful. You know, you can live just drinking water every single day. If you are ever stranded somewhere on an island or something like that, you should know that you can live just drinking water. Hopefully if that ever happens, you will be nearby some kind of river or something because it's a fact. Um, it's also, there's also secrets to it. So this, this is another secret that most people don't know. You know how they say, or they talk about the fountain of youth? You know, people go hunting and searching for, for the fountain of youth. Nobody knew this, but liter literally, the fountain of youth is just water. There's no fountain at all. It's just water. And, you know, take a guess. Take a guess at my age. If this is the first time that you have ever watched, um, you know, my channel, take a guess at how old I am. And if you do know me, then you already know my age. But I have been told that I look really young. So hopefully you already took a guess. The answer is that I am 29 years old. And I don't know, maybe you just guessed that, but I highly doubt it because I know that I look really, really young. And everyone that I speak to that also drinks water often always look really, really young, depending on how much they drink. I have been drinking water every single day since I was 14 years old um, or 13 years old. I know I was in junior high school. Um, that's when it started for me. And and yeah, and since then, I have always drank water. Um, let's see. I wanted to say that, you know, I, I saw this quote on, I think it was Facebook or maybe it was a video. I'm not too sure, but it was talking about just, you know, the strength of water, you know, how it could be so many different things like nurturing, it could be gentle, it could be harmful, you know, it can kill you, it can drown you, it can save your life, you know, it can clean you, it can nourish you. There's just so many different elements to water. And I saw that clip, I didn't save it, but I just thought it was really, really cool. And it's really true because water is that way, you know, just think about how you know, the rain, you know, nourishes the forest, but then it can also kill you in a hurricane. You know, it's just, it's just so bizarre when you hear that and, you know, really analyze that spectrum between, you know, just how far water can go. And, you know, it's just amazing to me. But yeah, I always thought that was interesting. Now, back to how I began drinking water. When I was younger in junior high school, I wanted to lose weight. Someone told me that if I switched what I was drinking to water, I would lose weight because, you know, drinking sodas and juices every day, that adds on pounds. So if you deduct that, then you will eventually lose weight. Um, and so I tried it. I tried it out and I believe that I switched to drinking iced teas because I used to drink a lot of iced teas back in the day. And so that's what it, really what I was drinking. And I was also watering down my, my, drink, my drinks and my juices. <laughs> um, and that's how I eventu eventually switched off. And um, it became a part of my life. I, you know, it became a habit of drinking water every single day. And I did eventually lose weight. Um, it became such a habit that when I went without drinking water, I became dehydrated and it was really noticeable. So I had to keep drinking water and I've been drinking water ever since. So yeah, I mean, I drink about a gallon a day. At least I try to, um, just because I wanted to lose weight again. And I was like, you know, I realized that I was so used to drinking water all this time that, you know, there was no way I was going to lose weight with water. You know, it's not going to help me um, unless I drank more water. So that's what I tried to do. That's what I switched to doing. Um, and yeah, I, I, this, yeah, I mean, I, it, lately I've been falling off because I've been trying to do like some other stuff, like with healthy drinks and things like that. But normally I drink a gallon a day. 
um, just by drinking it in every meal and drinking it throughout the day, like for snacks. And when I am thirsty, bored, or sometimes I just drink water instead of eating because maybe I just don't know what to eat. And so I just drink water because, you know, that makes the most sense. Because actually, sometimes if you find yourself hungry, you might just be thirsty. So that's another fact about water. Sometimes we don't know we're de we are dehydrated. So if ever you think you're hungry, you should just have water. Um, okay, now what else did I want to say? Now, here comes the tip. This is the tip to how you can transition yourself into drinking water. If you are one of those people that drink soda daily, drink juices often, you can, number one, um, you can water down the drinks that you are drinking, like let's say some juices, sometimes they taste better with just a little bit of water and you can always test it out and see, you know, if you like it. It's the same thing with sodas. Some people do like watered down sodas. I'm one of those people. Um, maybe you've never tried it before, but if you have the time, then definitely try it out. Um, because, you know, that can help you transition into drinking more. The more water you intake, the more you start to like it. Now, that's tip number one, but I know it's kind of like, really, why would I, you know, dilute my juice or my drinks, you know? So the next one is switching to iced teas. Um, you know, if you, you know, like juice, you can make your own iced teas at home, you know, buy the powder mixture and you can just make that at home. You can add as much sugar as you like or, you know, and make it really sweet or you can make it, you know, watery. So that will help you to gain that practice of drinking water without realizing it. Because since you're so used to drinking sugary drinks, you're not going to notice that that you're actually drinking more water than you were yesterday. Um, and now the next idea, which is something that I do sometimes when I'm in the mood for like just like a burst of energy, I put sugar in my water. And that is, I think, one of the best tips because I know there's a lot of people that don't actually like the taste of water and they, you know, just have a hard time drinking it. But if you add sugar to you wa to your water then you might you know gain that taste for it because there's nothing in it but sugar and there's other alternatives you know i know you might be thinking well sugar is really uh, unhealthy for you but so is soda and so it are you know processed um processed fruit drinks right but if you're drinking pure water and just adding sugar to it then that's healthier and there are other options of sugar so you can have um sugar cane sugar you can have coconut sugar there's so many healthy versions of sugar that you can opt for and by adding that sugar to the water it'll add it it'll give it flavor and you know you're going to eventually start to like it more um, the, the best thing, and I feel like the best way to go about it is in time, you want to, let's say you start off with a lot of sugar in the, in your glass, right? With the water and the next day, or maybe the next week, however it works for you, you know, be logical about, you know, your problem, if you have a problem or, you know, be realistic about what you can handle. So if you want, if you are one of those major soda drinkers and you're going to want to stick with a lot of sugar in the water for a while, like maybe like a month and a half or maybe even two months, right? I mean, you know, be logical about it. And, and, you know, when you see that maybe you're ready for less sugar, then you put less sugar in it. And it doesn't matter how the length of time, because either way, you are consuming water. And it's going to be more water than you were consuming before. So that's the great thing about it. Now, when you are ready, you want to deduct that sugar amount that you put in the water. And eventually, you will end up with pure water if you keep doing that habit. So you added a cup of sugar in your gallon of water then the next time you will add half a cup and then you keep deducting that sugar um, until you get pure water and eventually you will feel very addicted to water just as much as you feel addicted to you know just drinking sodas and ices because I didn't even realize it back then but when I was in junior high school I was 
addicted to it. You know, it's hard. You know, you don't realize what you're doing. You're just drinking. You know, this is the normal thing to do. But once you gain that habit of consuming water, you're going to be, you're going to need it. You're going to want it and you're going to like it um, eventually. And one day you'll have the same problem as me. One day you're not going to drink water and you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so dehydrated. What's wrong with me? And you're going to know why it's all because you didn't have water that day. And it's going to be a beautiful day because now you know how fond you are of water <laughs> and you've passed the water test. No, it's really serious. Trust me. It works for me and it will work for you. Um, yeah, sometimes I go to go to Starbucks and I'll just get like, you know, ice water and I'll just put some Splenda in it <laughs> and it tastes really good, you know. So, yeah, you know, so hopefully these tips help you out. Um, I believe that they will work. You just have to stay consistent, be realistic and be honest with yourself. And hopefully you continue on with this pattern because you want to say that, you know, maybe like five years from now, you look younger than you did today. You know what I mean? All because you started drinking water. Um, and yeah, you know, water, there's a lot of other benefits to it. You know, it's really hydrating. It's good for your skin. It's good for your stomach. It helps you to stay, um, maintain your weight, you know? So there's a lot of good things that come with it. Um, it's definitely worth it. And, and yeah, I'm, I know that, uh, it's meant for you. It's meant for you. It's meant for all of us to drink water. We just don't do it. Just like exercising. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it works for you. Okay, bye. Oh, and don't forget to listen to my music. It's on SoundCloud. I think I'm going to post my other YouTube, well, picture videos that I had on Instagram. I'm going to put them on YouTube because I've been advertising my three songs. My Attention. Bubble Love and For My Father, but they're not on YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to add those on after this video gets uploaded. Okay, that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you. Bye.